Made it to Scotland. The whole gang's here. The weather's okay. <laughs> we just got back from an awesome two day long creativity trip up in the forest of Glentrest and we thought we'd like to share that with you. <laughs> we wanted to review some of the silly mistakes that we've made throughout the year. Things relating to the stock shortages and how we might have communicated certain problems. And because we have such a tight relationship with our customers, when you come in here, you talk directly to your mechanics. We, when we make a mistake, they sit on our soul. <laughs> they, they, they really do sit disproportionately heavy on our mind. We reviewed it, we put some things into place which we're going to improve next year, which want to get better and better. But we also wanted to celebrate that we've done over 700 service jobs this year, of which a massive majority went absolutely perfectly. And we still have our 4.9 out of 5 star rating on our reviews website, or verified reviews, and lots and lots of really, really happy customers. In our creativity meeting then, we really wanted to address the, the gap between what the map deck business requires of our mechanics in terms of work that needs to be done and the interests and passions of our staff and see if we can find some common ground. Kicking us off, Andy's passion project for 2022 is going to be about getting the map deck name better known amongst our community. He has got some fantastic ideas about creating some simple merchandise, frame stickers, water bottles, really going to help communicate that map deck message uh, to you and your buddies when you're out there riding on the trail. Um, Andy's other passion project was really developing the educational courses that we do outside of what we're already doing with Kendall College and developing short bite-sized educational courses of like uh, trailside maintenance, tubular setup and repair, that sort of thing, but also taking on some meteor subjects as well, such as wheel building and suspension servicing. So look out for those courses coming your way sometime in 2022. Jake A is just coming to the end of his apprenticeship. In fact, while you're watching this video, he's probably doing the last parts of his assessment and he's really starting to think about his career going into 2022. Where are you going, Jake? Up there, somewhere. <laughs> Come on in. Up the mountain. Rick's coming straight down. <laughs> Team Nitro. <laughs> Yo, stay focused. Here, yeah. say cheese. Dropping. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Jake is a really talented wheel builder and really wants to develop those skills and apply them to what he knows about enduro mountain biking, dirt jumping and BMX. Jake's also really keen to work on some of his coaching skills. While we were away in Glentress, Jake showed a real natural ability for coaching. So roll, roll straight in and then head for the pointy rock in the middle. And as soon as your front wheel touches that, turn right. You've got it. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Yeah. Woo! It's work. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jake E, who's just finished his probation with us and is now into the meaty part of his apprenticeship, is going to continue to work on his portfolio and give all of his energy into that apprenticeship. However, he raised some really interesting ideas. A youth type of activity that's around privateer racing. So once you've left the youth schemes of clubs and, and organisations, um, but still want to continue learning and training into your early 20s. That's something that we recognise as a bit of a gap and Jake is quite passionate about starting some kind of a project with our fitness coaches here and developing privateer sort of team headquarters, which I think is a great idea and we're going to keep talking about that and see, and see where it goes with our coaches. Our senior mechanic Dave actually announced that he would like to retire sometime in 2022, but not before he has successfully seen Jake and Jake through their apprenticeships and fully set up to, to take on that role. Dave is also going to be helping write the syllabus for some of those courses that we mentioned earlier. And 2022 is all about passing his extensive knowledge and skills down through our other mechanics and really leaving a lasting legacy of his time here at MapDeck. Now, with the workshop in ever more capable hands, I really want to put a lot of my attention in 2022 back to our gym and really get that momentum going again in this fantastic, lively, cycling-specific gym that we had. But I have to acknowledge that things have changed. At-home training is much more common, as is at-home working. And we come into 2022 with things like Peloton and Zwift, ever more popular and a gym like ours I think has a lot to offer 
in helping those at-home athletes get the most out of their equipment. So we showcase what a coaching facility like ours can offer. At the same time, myself and all the team of coaches love in-person training. It's what got us into this. It's what we're passionate about is being in a group, training together and learning together and doing those cool things. I think 2022 is going to be a really exciting year for MapDeck and I'm glad you guys are all along for the journey. Thank you.